on part two of my painting techniques. Okay, as you've seen in the pictures, I put a mask over my center area. I first sprayed just a hint of silver psh, over it, just a hint. Then I came back with my charcoal black. I sprayed heavy in the front, heavy in the front, hit the backs of those blacks with a little orange. I then pulled the center mask. I shot that with red. I put a little black in here, dusted that, then finished pulling the rest of the mask for the orange so not everything is exposed. I hit it with the reds and the oranges, it changes in here a little bit. And then when you're done, I took it, back coated it with white, silver, and then I came back with black because in those crevices your paint separates. So that helps to uh, backfill it. And as you can see, I left the clear area for. That was a planned reason as well. Okay, so, as you see, you just give those little dust coatings, and boy, does she ever just pop and move. Let me pull that off and give you a really good, oh, there we go. See how that orange that you can't see, like this, but when you turn it, look at that. Even in the back corners, too. So, those are just, you just fog a color, pull them, and that's a, a two-step mask. The black was not covered at all. Okay. So this is uh, in the pipes there. Ooh, yeah, those are nice. That's why I left that center piece open so you can see the pipes, clear wings, so you can see the paint. The Formula One chassis, nowhere to run it. So I'm doing speed runs now. And I'm thinking about getting one of those snakes. Remember the snakes when you were a kid? Making a canister in here, putting the snake in it, hooking it up with tubing to the pipes so when I'm driving there will be smoke coming out of the pipes. All right, custom RC builders with another fine automobile. We're clear.